Hi, I'm Kelsey from Ratings.com. Today we'll be comparing the three generations of the popular Logitech MX Master Series. We evaluated each version on our standardized test bench and we'll be focused on the differences between them so you can decide which one is the right one for you. The Logitech MX Master 3 is one of our long-lasting recommendations for one of the best work mice. If you've looked into buying one online, you may have noticed two previous generations, the Logitech MX Master 2S and the original Logitech MX Master, which are still widely available. Also, both previous versions are typically available for a fraction of the cost. Unfortunately, it isn't easy to tell these mice apart at a glance. We're going to take a closer look and identify the changes made with each generation so you can pick the model that best suits your needs. The original Logitech MX Master mouse was released in 2015, but it's held up remarkably well. Most of the major ingredients that have made the series so popular are fully realized and intact in this version. It established the overall ergonomic right-handed shape with a thumb rest that's carried through the entire series. The original version pairs wirelessly with up to three devices and connects either via Bluetooth or USB receiver. In terms of controls, there is a gesture button on the thumb rest, two triangular shaped buttons on the left, and a primary scroll wheel that you can toggle manually between a notch scrolling mode or a much faster free scrolling mode. The faster free scrolling mode also engages automatically whenever you're scrolling quickly. Additionally, there's a secondary scroll wheel on the left dedicated to horizontal scrolling. Using the customization software, you're able to set predefined button controls depending on which app you're using. For instance, you can map the two side buttons to function as copy and paste buttons when using Word and undo redo button when working in Photoshop. Performance wise, this mouse uses a laser sensor, unlike modern gaming mice which use optical sensors. While it has a very narrow CPI range compared to gaming mice, it's more than sufficient for most productivity tasks and everyday browsing. Also, it's able to track on nearly all glossy or non-glossy surfaces, including glass. Logitech advertises its mouse of having a battery life of up to 40 days, and you can charge it for an entire day's use in 4 minutes using the micro USB charging cable. Next up, the Logitech MX Master 2S was released in 2017 and made several small but noteworthy changes to the original formula. Visually, the two mice look remarkably similar, and there are significant changes under the hood. Like the first generation, you can pair the Logitech MX Master 2S with up to three devices simultaneously. It also newly supports Logitech Flow, which is a feature that lets you copy and paste text, images, files, or folders between connected systems. It uses the same sensor, but it has an improved CPI range. Unfortunately, it's still narrow compared to the CPI range of most modern gaming mice, but the new higher settings are better suited if you're working across multiple screens or a very high screen resolution. One of the most significant changes comes with the battery performance. Logitech advertises generation nearly doubles the life of a fully charged battery from 40 to up to 70 days. You can also now fast charge a day's worth of battery within three minutes using the micro USB charging cable. The most recent major generation, the Logitech MX Master 3, was released in 2019. It introduces several visual changes, slightly tweaks the shape of the mouse, and overhauls the position and design of some of the controls. The side buttons are now rounded rectangles and have moved further forward and below the horizontal scroll wheel, making them easier to reach without adjusting your hand position. Both scroll wheels are now made of solid knurled metal, and the secondary scroll wheel is slightly larger and protrudes more from the body. The free scrolling functionality of the top scroll wheel is the same as the two previous versions, but it has an updated mechanism that partially relies on an electromagnet. The inclusion of magnetic resistance makes the automatic transition between notch scrolling and free scrolling feel much smoother and makes the entire operation of the scroll wheel extremely quiet. This version also retains the same laser sensor, which means it's able to track on glossy or non-glossy surfaces, including glass. Unfortunately, the CPI range is still narrow compared to gaming mice and unchanged from the MX Master 2S. The overall battery life of up to 70 days on a full charge is also unchanged, although Logitech claims this version charges slightly faster. Unlike the previous two generations that were using a micro USB charging cable, this one has been updated with a USB-C charging cable which is now the new standard. Unfortunately, not all the changes to this generation are positive. The mouse feet are somewhat smaller on this version and the mouse doesn't glide quite as smoothly as the previous generations. 
However, it's only a minor downgrade and the mouse still glides well on mouse pads and desks. While all versions of the Logitech MX Master are fully compatible with macOS, there's also been a generational version specifically designed for Mac users released in 2020. While we haven't reviewed the Logitech MX Master 3 for Mac, there are only two significant differences. Rather than having the option to connect wirelessly via USB receiver and Bluetooth, the Mac version only connects via Bluetooth. Also, instead of a USB-A to USB-C charging cable, the Mac version has a USB-C to USB-C charging cable. In the end, the difference between each generation of the MX Master series are relatively minor. If aspects such as CPI range, total battery life, or a nearly silent scroll wheel aren't important to your workflow, you may find that one of the earlier, much more affordable versions of the mouse is a good fit for you. Unfortunately, none of the three versions are suitable for smaller hands, and despite a vocal community calling for a left-handed version of this mouse for years, there's still no word from Logitech if this is in the works. Lastly, while each mouse in the series is an outstanding productivity option, they all have very low fixed polling rates and high click latency, so they aren't a good choice if you're looking for a single mouse for work and gaming.